Hi everyone, it's Russell from The Presenter. I hope you're well. I want to quickly talk about a poll that I put onto LinkedIn just recently in which I asked a really simple question. What would make for a good presentation? Would it be 12 bullet points on one slide or 12 individual slides with each bullet point or each key message on every slide. Now there were over 300 responses for this which was fantastic and unfortunately 20% of people said that they would prefer to have one slide with 12 bullet points but thankfully the vast majority of people agreed as I do that actually spreading those 12 key points across 12 slides is the better way to go. Now, I didn't wanna just leave it as a poll sitting there on LinkedIn, so I wanted to explain the reasoning wh why this is definitely the better way to go. So let's dive in to those results, and let's take a look at what makes a good presentation. Well, of course you could think of uh, great presentation skills, a great looking slide deck, great use of Prezi, but really, a great presentation is one that you remember. Above all else, it's one that you remember. And you will only remember it if you can engage with the content really, really well. So every single presentation has the same aim, the same objective. We have to make people remember. So let's take a look at what happens when we have 12 bullet points on one slide. And as I typed these funny bullet points out here, you can read them if you like, although I'd rather you didn't. But as I typed these out, I got to thinking of something that I read in this amazing book, which I highly recommend everyone go out and get if you haven't read it already. This is Presentation Zen by Gary Reynolds. And in this book, he talks about something called SNR, Signal to Noise Ratio. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's go back to our 12 points. So at the moment, what we're looking at here is a whole bunch of noise. As an audience member, this is a very noisy slide. As a presenter, I would obviously want to talk about one bullet point at a time. So this is the signal. What I'm talking about at any given time is the signal that I'm trying to get across to my audience. But if we bunch that signal in with a whole bunch of noise, that signal's not gonna get through. So on every single slide that you ever create in your presentation, whether it's in PowerPoint or Prezi, think about your signal to noise ratio. Is your signal going to get through to the audience or is there too much noise? So that's really the main reason why a whole bunch of bullet points on one slide will never ever help you reach that objective of helping audience members remember and retain the information that you're trying to get across to them. So it definitely makes sense to split things up into lots of different slides. And of course, it goes without saying that when you do that, you should really help your audience a little bit more by visualizing everything. Now, I've just used some images that I really quickly got from uh, the Pexels website. It's a free image library that sits online. I grabbed some images that link to the key points I'm talking about. I made those key points bigger and bolder in terms of font size, and I've got my individual point on one slide. That is a clear message, easy to understand. I've done exactly the same with the next point, and so on and so on. You get the idea. That doesn't take long to do at all. And you might be thinking, well, I've never got time to do stuff like that. If you can find even an extra 20 to 30 minutes to do what I've done here, this really simple visualization of points, your audience will thank you for it. Otherwise, if you go back to what we are saying you shouldn't do, 12 bullet points all on one slide, the signal is not going to get through and your presentation is a waste of time. Now, one thing you might not expect me to say is that you could actually do both. Now, I'm not saying at the end of all of those individual clear messages on 12 slides, you have a whole bunch of bullet points again, but you could visualize a summary slide that looks something like this, that maybe pulls out 
A key word from each of those clear messages you were trying to get across, has a nice visual in the background, and maybe even uses an icon that links to each of them as well. There's no harm at all in having a summary slide that brings everything together. But remember, you need to make sure that even on a slide like this, there are clear signals and not too much noise. Okay, so present your points in 12 individual slides looking like this, clear signal, and then summarize at the end in something really nice and visual that your audience can latch onto and remember and retain that information. It's really, really important. So I hope that makes sense. And of course, if you're wondering about how I'm doing this presentation, I'm using the brand new Prezi video software. If any of you out there are struggling to make your virtual presentations more engaging, more fun, and just more interesting for your audience, then I would highly recommend that you check out Prezi Video. If you'd like a free demo, please comment below wherever you're watching this video or get in touch with us on info at I'm Russell. I'll speak to you again on the next video. Take care.